tell you something else I've never told before, personal reflection. I've never really thought of myself as a leader. I guess if I'm being candid, what I think about myself is someone with good values and somebody who hopefully can bring people together in a way that can move objectives forward in a positive, profitable, efficient, productive, collaborative way. Uh, and, and maybe that's the best way of describing what leadership style works at Amerisource Bergen. I haven't seen anyone stay around here and be successful who's a self-promoter, self-dealing, does not put the associates or the mission of Amerisource Bergen in front of themselves. Now, I guess almost any CEO when asked that question would say the exact same thing. Here it's true. <laughs> that, that happens to have the benefit of not only being the good story, but the true story. One of the things that still makes me very proud, and I think keeps Amerisource Bergen being very successful, is a certain grittiness, a certain humbleness. But anyone who's negotiated with us also knows that's not to be confused with, with a determination, a professionalism, and a thoughtfulness and a protectfulness about our financials and our position in the chain that, again, really always has to be a part of our culture. That's, I believe, the, the, the philosophy, the credo that we have, you know, is really preserving, enhancing, protecting, valuing our role in the supply chain. And I think that comes from the intellectual confidence that was a part of leadership and that's a part of the values and, and the credo and the purpose of Amerisource building. Thank you.